The doll in this video is a fragile and expensive art piece intended for adult crafters and collectors. It is not a toy and not made for children. Hello everyone, this is Rachel or Calathiel Tan and welcome to the end of 2020 BJD doll collection tour for this channel. I will go over each doll. I'll tell you the brand their head and body are and if possible the model. It'll be in text up on the screen if I can't remember the name offhand. And then I'll also tell you where I got what they were wearing. But I'm not going to get into the characters of each doll because I think that would take too long and probably the people who are interested in knowing what sculpts the doll is are not the same people who maybe want to hear like a story time about the doll. So if you guys are interested in that, I can definitely do it separately, maybe a couple dolls at a time or one doll at a time. Just let me know in the comments. So let's get right into it, starting on the left. This is my doll love key head on a one-of-a-kind modded Impel doll body. She doesn't have her eyes in right now, and she's wearing part of her armor and her axe, all of which I made for her from thrifted components. This is Rue. He is a polymer clay head on a resin sole 45 centimeter boy body, and he is wearing a sweater that my great-grandmother made and pants made for 18 inch dolls, actually. It's not his usual outfit. The wig I made. This is my 1 16th scale BJD. She's 11 centimeters by Art BJD Doll on Etsy. She's 3D printed. I dyed her and did her face up and hair. And she's wearing a Littlest Pet Shop Bly the Dress. Next up, we have a hybrid of three different companies. She is a doll zone moon head on a doll leaves body and she has resin sole jointed hands all of her paint and her outfit is by me down here we have a baby mandrake by Poochbot on etsy back here we have my resin sole and mayu hybrids on the left is my resin sole bay on a mayu 28 centimeter special girl body with the small bust the Resin Soul Bay was my first resin BJD ever. And then to the right, we have my Resin Soul Knee on the same body, but with the large bust. And then sitting on her lap, we have my Baby Yoda or the Child, one of a kind polymer clay BJD by D. Luanto on Instagram. Next, we have my robot from Jolly Built. The paint and the gears were added by me. It's Tester's Paint. Then right here, we have a one-of-a-kind polymer clay ball-jointed doll that I commissioned. And unfortunately, I can't remember the name of the artist right now, so it will be in text up on the screen. She has not been customized at all by me. I just got her like a month ago, and I haven't decided what kind of character I want to have for her yet. Next to her is my Rock Troll, also 3D printed. And I can't remember the name of that shop either, so it'll be up on the screen. I haven't customized them at all yet either. Here are my Raise Vet dolls by the artist Raise Vet dolls or BJD Sveta dolls, depending on who you ask. From left to right, we have Fauna, Flora, and Gabriel over here. Fauna and Gabriel are naked because I have been using them as models to list items in my eBay store, but Flora is wearing an outfit that was actually given to me by Raised Vet Dolls as an extra when I purchased Gabriel. In the back here we have Brie, my long sole on MU, with the medium bust in their discontinued pink and she is wearing a wig and horn I made for her, and I also made her robe out of one of my favorite childhood dresses. Next to her is Cory, my doll chateau Bella, and she was dyed by me using Rit Dymore 
All of the dolls um, that I mentioned being dyed were all dyed with the same Rit Dye More dye, and I'll put the name up here. I just dyed them to different degrees, and they were different colors to start with, so that affected the color. But she has Face Up by me. All the Face Ups here are by me, except for the doll of Key, who came with a Face Up, and I haven't wiped it yet. And the Ray's Vet dolls, kind of like an artist's full set, and they come with Face Ups. And then also my doll Chateau Hillary, which we haven't gotten to yet. She came with a face up and I haven't wiped her yet. So the doll Chateau Bella is wearing a sweater, pants, and bag made by me. And then the shirt I got off of a vintage doll from an antique shop and dyed with a green Brit dye more. Sitting here on my largest doll's foot is my tiniest BJD. Chibi Hana is the name of the sculpt by Miss Nekutaku on Etsy. I would highly encourage you, if small dolls are your jam, to go get yourself one before she discontinues them because she does discontinue sculpts fairly frequently, but it's just so cute and I haven't decided what character to do for her because I just got her. So she's just chilling. Over here we have my ultimate grail doll, a doll chateau snowborn or I should say my ultimate grail head, because I didn't super like the body he came with. He is on the Doll Family H 56 centimeter boy body, the one that you can get with ballet feet. I absolutely love the hands that this doll comes with. He's wearing an unfinished wig by me and an unfinished granny square tunic by me with a thrifted shirt just to have something under it. He's holding my one-of-a-kind commissioned polymer clay doll of Despero from the book, the kid's book, The Tale of Despero, and that is also by the artist Di Luanto. So the same artist made this mouse and the baby Yoda you saw earlier. Down here, we have two BJDs from the artist MK Dolls. He's on Etsy and Instagram. I ordered this one here on the right to turn into a tree creature. And then the one on the left, he actually gave me, which was really, really sweet. Neither of them have names yet, but I'm working on planning out their characters. And the one on the left is wearing a wig I made. On the left is my other grail a doll chateau hillary she is just wrapped up in an oversized sweater because she's being difficult i'm not sure what kind of character to give but we'll get there eventually in the front here we have i believe he was my first he was probably my second ball jointed doll ever but i got him before i got my first resin one and he's made of abs plastic He's kind of a little moss creature. I don't do much with him anymore, but he just kind of helps set the vibe for my collection. Back here, we have a Dull Zone Sean that I dyed face up and wig are also by me. You can't really see the wig right now because it's inside the Santa hat. The Santa outfit is from one of those like Beanie Baby Kids dolls. So the pants are a little big for her, and the shirt's kind of big for her too, but I think it's overall a cute effect. And then the socks are ones I handmade. Over here we have my only porcelain ball jointed doll. She's by the artist Turtle Child Studios. If I'm understanding it correctly, she was a blank set that the artist sold, and then people could have fun customizing her and whatnot. The crocheted pieces I made. I did all of her body paint and her face up. Her wig is one I got off of a porcelain doll a while back. Her leggings are from an Elwyn Wild Y2 redhead. And then she has an apron on from a Ginny doll, I believe. Sitting in her lap, we have what used to be my tiniest ball jointed doll. Now, she's the tiniest. But over here is my 124th scale BJD by the artist Solar's Art. The sculpt is named Cherry. You used to be able to get them off of eBay, but the artist doesn't appear to be active on eBay right now. The wig is one that I kind of made. She came with a wig cap and I just attached the yarn to it. So that is everyone. If my count is correct, there are 25 of them. 
I should note that the dolls that I own, but I'm not planning on keeping, I didn't include them in the video. But these are the ones that for now I'm planning on keeping in my collection for the foreseeable future. If you filmed an end of the year BJD collection video, please, please don't put links in because YouTube sees those as spam sometimes. Comment below saying you filmed an end of the year collection tour for your dolls and that it's up on your channel so that I can check them out and other people can check them out because I think it's really fun at the end of the year to and in January to start watching people's videos of their collection. As long as it's like a doll or action figure collection, you're welcome to mention it in the comments. It doesn't have to be ball jointed dolls. I really hope you enjoyed. If this is your first video by me, this is the crew. I work on them regularly. About half of these need various customizations and most of that process will be shown on the channel probably throughout 2021. So if you're intrigued by any of these dolls, feel free to subscribe so you see what happens to them throughout next year. I typically make videos about ball jointed dolls art dolls, and miniatures. So if any of those things intrigue you, please watch some of my other videos and consider subscribing. I also occasionally make videos about fashion dolls and vintage dolls, if that's usually more your jam. If you're already familiar with my content, don't forget about the Facebook group. It's linked below. I also have the Patreon, where you guys can support the channel for as little as $2 a month in exchange for seeing all of my videos one to two weeks early. So if that sounds fun, be sure to check that out. I also give away one doll every single month now to a patron and only patrons have access to that. Patreon is the only place where I ever give away dolls. So if that sounds cool to you, be sure to check that out. Patrons on the Fairy Godparent tier on Patreon also get a sticker sent to them every single month of one of my dolls and a shout out in every single YouTube video I make. So shout out to Road to Eric Fan, Tenor Girl, and my anonymous fairy godparents, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.